66 million years ago, Earth was a planet of extremes. The late Cretaceous period marked the final chapter of the Mesozoic era, a time when life on Earth reached staggering scales. On land, towering sauropods and ferocious theropods roamed freely. In the oceans, massive mosasaurs and plesiosaurs ruled the depths. And in the skies, a group of flying reptiles known as pterosaurs soared above it all. Among these aerial giants, one family stood out as the undisputed rulers of the heavens, the Ajdarchids. These pterosaurs, characterized by their elongated necks, towering legs, and immense wingspans, were the largest flying animals to ever exist. And while Quetzalcoatlus often steals the spotlight as the most famous of these aerial behemoths, there was another Ajdarchid that may have been even larger, more formidable, and far more fascinating. This is the story of Hatsagopteryx, the true titan of the skies, a creature so colossal, so unique, and so awe-inspiring that it redefined what it meant to be a giant. The story of Hatsagopteryx begins in the 1970s, in the rugged landscapes of Romania, it was here, in the Hatzig Basin, that a team of paleontologists stumbled upon a series of enormous bones. At first, the researchers were baffled. The sheer size of the fossils suggested they belonged to a theropod dinosaur, perhaps a relative of Tyrannosaurus rex. But as they carefully examined the fragments, they realized they were dealing with something far more extraordinary. The bones, a partial skull and a massive humerus, were unmistakably those of a pterosaur. But this was no ordinary flying reptile. The size and structure of the fossils indicated a creature of unprecedented proportions. It wasn't until 2002, more than 30 years after its discovery, that this colossal pterosaur was formally named Hatsagopteryx thambima, meaning Hatsig Basin Wing Monster. The name was fitting. Hatsagopteryx was a monster in every sense of the word. With a wingspan estimated at up to 12 meters, 39 feet, it rivaled and possibly surpassed the size of Quetzalcoatlus, long considered the largest flying animal of all time. But Hatsagopteryx was more than just big, it was built differently. Its bones were thicker, its neck shorter and more muscular, and its skull, a staggering 2.5 meters, 8 feet long, was a weapon of mass destruction. To understand Hatsagopteryx, we must first examine its anatomy. This pterosaur was a study in contradictions. It was both a master of the skies and a terror on the ground. Its wings, though enormous, were supported by hollow, lightweight bones filled with air sacs, a feature common among pterosaurs. But unlike its relatives, Hatsagopteryx's bones were unusually thick and robust, suggesting a level of strength and durability rarely seen in flying animals. The most striking feature of Hatsagopteryx was its skull. At 2.5 meters long, it was one of the largest skulls of any non-marine animal in history. But what truly set it apart was its structure. Unlike the slender, delicate skulls of many pterosaurs, Hatsagopteryx's skull was built like a battering ram. It was broad, heavily reinforced, and lined with ridges that served as attachment points for powerful muscles. This allowed the creature to deliver devastating bites, capable of crushing bone and tearing through flesh with ease. Its neck, though shorter than that of other Ajdarchids, was incredibly strong. Paleontologists believe it could withstand forces up to 10 times its body weight, making it a formidable weapon in both hunting and combat. This combination of strength and size made Hatsagopteryx a predator unlike any other. Hatsagopteryx's unique anatomy was shaped by its environment. During the late Cretaceous, Europe was an archipelago of islands, separated by vast stretches of ocean. One of these islands, known as Hatzig Island, was a place of extremes. Comparable in size to modern-day Ireland, it was isolated from the mainland by over 300 kilometers, 190 miles, of open water. This isolation had a profound impact on the island's ecosystem. With limited resources and space, many of the animals that lived on Hatzig Island evolved into smaller forms, a phenomenon known as insular dwarfism. Dinosaurs like Megarosaurus, a dwarf titanosaur, and Telmatosaurus, a small hadrosaur, were common. But while most creatures shrank, Hatsagopteryx grew to monstrous proportions. With no large theropods to compete with, Hatsagopteryx became the island's apex predator. Its size and strength allowed it to dominate both the skies and the land, preying on the island's dwarf dinosaurs and other small animals. It was a world where giants and dwarves coexisted, and Hatsagopteryx ruled them all. 
What was life like for Hatsikopteryx? Paleontologists believe this pterosaur was a terrestrial generalist forager, meaning it spent most of its time on land, hunting anything it could overpower. Its massive jaws and powerful neck made it a formidable predator, capable of taking down prey much larger than itself. One of the most intriguing aspects of Hatsikopteryx hunting behavior is its method of killing. Unlike other pterosaurs, which likely fed on small animals or scavenged carcasses, Hatsigopteryx may have actively hunted large prey. Its robust skull and neck suggest it used a combination of stabbing and bludgeoning to subdue its victims. Imagine a creature the size of a small airplane swooping down from the sky, using its massive beak to deliver a crushing blow to its prey. It's a terrifying thought, but one that fits the evidence. Hatsigopteryx's diet likely included dwarf dinosaurs, small mammals, and even other pterosaurs. Its ability to fly gave it a unique advantage, allowing it to traverse the island's dense forests and rivers in search of food. But despite its aerial prowess, Hatsigopteryx was not a long-distance flyer. Recent studies suggest it relied on short, powerful bursts of flight, using its wings to cover large distances quickly before landing to hunt or rest. One of the most fascinating aspects of Hatsigopteryx is its ability to fly. How did a creature so massive achieve liftoff? The answer lies in its unique anatomy. Like all pterosaurs, Hatsigopteryx had hollow bones filled with air sacs, reducing its weight without sacrificing strength. But what set it apart was the structure of its skull and wings. Hatsigopteryx's skull, though enormous, was honeycombed with hollow spaces, making it lighter than it appeared. Its wings, too, were reinforced with a network of air sacs, giving them a structure similar to modern-day expanded polystyrene, commonly known as styrofoam. This allowed Hatsigopteryx to achieve flight, though it likely required a running start or a leap to get airborne. Once in the air, Hatsigopteryx was a master of short-distance flight. Its large wingspan allowed it to glide effortlessly, while its powerful muscles enabled quick, agile movements. But it wasn't built for long-distance soaring. Instead, Hatsigopteryx used its flight capabilities to traverse its island home, locate hunting grounds, and escape danger. Hatsigopteryx's reign as the apex predator of Hatsig Island was short-lived. 66 million years ago, the Cretaceous period came to a cataclysmic end. A massive asteroid measuring over 10 kilometers, six miles in diameter, struck Earth near what is now the Yucatan Peninsula. The impact triggered a chain reaction of events, including wildfires, tsunamis, and a global nuclear winter that blocked out the sun. In the aftermath, 75% of all species on Earth went extinct, including the non-avian dinosaurs and pterosaurs. Hatsigopteryx, the largest animal to ever fly, was no exception. Its island home, once a lush paradise, became a graveyard. The skies, once ruled by these magnificent flyers, fell silent. Though Hatsigopteryx is long gone, its legacy lives on. This colossal pterosaur represents the pinnacle of pterosaur evolution, a creature that pushed the boundaries of size, strength, and adaptability. Its discovery has reshaped our understanding of pterosaurs, revealing a group of animals far more diverse and complex than previously thought. Hatsigopteryx also serves as a reminder of the incredible diversity of life during the age of dinosaurs. From island dwarves to sky-bound leviathans, the ancient world was full of wonders that continue to captivate and inspire us today. So the next time you hear about Quetzalcoatlus, remember Hatsigopteryx, the true titan of the skies, a creature so colossal, so unique, and so awe-inspiring that it redefined what it meant to be a giant. If you enjoyed this journey into the world of prehistoric giants, don't forget to explore more stories of evolution's most extraordinary creations. From island dwarves to sky-bound leviathans, the ancient world is full of wonders waiting to be discovered.